So we have seen a lot of development of combat, especially. The work that has been done by the, the working committee that I convene at the head office is exclusive. So I will start with Dada Sefu. Uh, just wave where you are so that they know that. Um, yeah, Sefu has brought in a new energy in the political organization of the Communist Party of Kenya. She is the convener now of the Women's League and she also ran our broadcast, the CPK TV. And we will need more stories that are real not manufactured stories that people watch on KTN or Nation about, you know, um, from, they say from charcoal to gold, but they don't say, even if it was from charcoal to gold, the gold was stolen from the people. But we need real reflections. I think most of the comrades have been able to be a contributor to the Communist Party of Kenya TV, especially the, 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 the people from the Bush, Bushman. <laughs> By the way, they are... Their studies, there was one photo they did that trended in the entire world. In fact, if you go to our Twitter page, it's, it's now almost one million tweets. Uh, and uh, we can see how much the propaganda we generate from ground can help us strive. And with that single photo, I think we got about 6,000 followers on our Twitter page. So wherever work you do, wherever you go, make sure that we bring it out for the sake of knowledge of the people. Because the propaganda outside here against the party is overwhelming. So if you cannot defend it, then who will? If you cannot tweet about the Communist Party of Kenya, so that you can do it on the Vita. If you cannot even, I, am, I really appreciate, and I want to tell you, Comrade Mwandawiro, that these people, I can remember one time when we were organizing for them, for the, uh, the African Liberation Day. There's a comrade that made us laugh the whole night. He said, forward with self-financing, forward. Uh, and then <laughs> people laughed. We, the, the Young Communist League did not have resources to put up this event. This event has been put by solidarity, by the Young Communist Party themselves, the members coming here. In fact, if we had um, a little facilitation for this event, we will have even a greater attendance because there are people who are genuinely in need to attend this event. But their material conditions are real. You cannot expect a comrade at Embe Uko, Dandora, Tena, Ende Uko, Alafarudu, Kana, Chakula. So we know that Tafari is representing the battalion in Dandora. We know Bushman up and represent another battalion Uko because this is not about quantity, it is about quality. So, in actual sense, if, if you see there are some silly rallies that will be organized around the national elections, that they go pay people to come, you demonstrate how many people you have or how many crowds you can. As we will demonstrate those crowds with quality, people will believe in our ideas, that they are willing to fight for them. So, the Communist Party of Kenya is on a progressing trajectory, and we are building leaders here. I've seen the, the Women's League highly represented. In fact, uh, there's a, I don't want to say that slogan that we said in game, but uh, remind me, Bushman, what is comrades? Uh, how? Huh? Yeah, Mukami, yes. Mukami, she's a very interesting comrade. We were with them in, with her in CIA. And um, uh, we, I think Kohahome was also there. And they were in the war front, organizing in Siaya. Uko kwa wajaluo. Wanasamanga, ukipinga raela utaruti maiti. Unaona maiti hapa. Situlianda uko Siaya. Na tukangusha demonstration. And we are back here in Nairobi alive and ready for another fight. So all of you have encouraged me a lot. In fact, when I started organizing at the national office when my secretary general left, I have gained a lot of experience among you people. And I can only return unconditional love to you. The other lady that has been instrumental also in the working committee, and you have heard her here, I don't need to introduce her much, is Comrade Wahome, 
I met her through another comrade also. There was another comrade. Uh, but remember, even if you meet a more backward comrade, they can be able to generate a more comrade that is out looking. Because the person who introduced me to a home and the entire study circle that was meeting at MKU left the party. But Wahome is a product of that. And, and you can see her. You can see her taking, in fact, during Saba Saba, she was on the streets leading another wing. So we have seen a lot of development of comrades, especially under, because in, if you wait, if you are a communist, you are waiting for motivation from without. You will not get it. You have to be having the internal drive, a revolutionary internal drive. And everybody here that is defending every space is not willing to pay a price except us. If we are to go to war today, then I know even the, the, the whole people, the, the, the state machinery, if we have some little money, they will sell those firearms to us because to them, they need money. But as we need to revolutionize this, this town. So... The beauty of being a revolutionary is that you are incorruptible, that you have an internal drive. So that's what I've seen with um, Comrade Wahome every time we meet and her initiatives. And of course, she gave a, a, cl a clarity of thought in terms of Walter School Road. And that Walter Road School, it will be, remembered, it will be remember, remembered for many years. And then we have Comrade Brian Madengi, who is a soldier. Yeah, we are going to the Vita So, if anybody was in doubt that the people who left Communist Party of Kenya out of opportunism or revisionism and are actually pursuing Trotskyist things, that Communist Party of Kenya's Youth League will not have leadership, the leadership have been said today. You can see them among the comrades. And yeah, we don't tolerate Trotskites here. How many people here believe that we can organize for an international revolution without organizing in our own country? We have to organize Madari, Tokewoko, Kibera. We have to organize all the, Then we can cause a revolution. But at when do London, Kubeba, Posta, Kubwa, Ivi, Tunazama, Sisi, wa communist. What is that? Tutakuwa hapa na we'll pay the big price. And um, uh, this comrade, uh, Madenga, also is a product to another former comrade, but now he is a recent comrade that I have to also appreciate. Uh, I saw Javan Makowala there. You know, Jav Javan Makowala has proven that even if we have so many differences, but the revolution is what? One. So he is back to the party with another energy. And we are for sure seeing that even with his previous experience, and now the experience that he's going to acquire, the Communist Party of Kenya will not lack leadership. Because the problem of this Communist Party of Kenya that has been there is that we lack leadership. So we, we go to town and somebody is talking, then we say this person can be. Then we bring him and the following day, he fucks us up. So the thing is that the leadership must be built from the study circle and from the mass work. Let the people in Madare baptize you with fire. Then you will be their leader. Then they will respect you. So, Comrade Madenge, I think you can be the Secretary General. You can be the Vice Chairperson if we fall on the wayside. Yeah. Because that is the duty of us to build uh, uh, party leaders. Then um, there was one person also that joined the Central Committee. In fact, he has paid a price. His leg has been broken. He's been in jails. In fact, he came to this party office, and the same day he came to be introduced, the same day he was arrested. <laughs> then he started asking now how our communist viva viva ni wakina nani. So him, he came from practice to theory. <laughs> now he's, he's now into theory, then pra practice. That's Comrade David Tafari. I think you know him. He's also been in Sia on the war front. And I did not know he speaks Kizalu. When I went there with to my mother's place, he was conversing how he wants to go back to Homer Bay to start the movement. And he's also a very good photographer. 
And he's doing a lot of work in Dandora. We, our Secretary General is vying there. So we hope that uh, when the Secretary General comes back, there will be an entry point. In terms of organizing for real cadres. You know it will reach. You are not getting worried. Because there are people here that are not here, but elsewhere, when you are doing politics, you struggle a lot, but then you can never trust them with anything. The beauty of working with the comrades, you are never in doubt. You don't pick a sim, hey, you go up, It's there. It's their responsibility. So, I have seen a lot of growth in them. There is another one that also came from theory, small theory to practice, but again, practice again. If you see the biggest demonstration that we're organizing in game, the anti-corruption, there was a lady there that was working with an old woman, and then there was another lady that was leading that demonstration. She's all called Comrade Winnie Achieng. Now she came back to the headquarters. I think she's somewhere. Yes. Uh, so when people come to look for, uh, you know, uh, they're saying that Communist Party, do you have a job? We say now jobs are gotten from the field back to the office. <laughs> you don't come to, to look for <laughs> a job. So Winnie has done a tremendous uh, job in terms of also putting our administrative work in that office. So um, we welcome you here in Nairobi. And when we return you back to Bondo, I think you will be having more fire to represent us there, because this is not permanent. Another comrade that came together with Comrade Wahome, I don't know what was the, first of all, first of all Wahome slackened. Then Kinudia went up. Then I think he came and pulled Wahome again. Now Wahome and come on, Peter Kinudia. <laughs> hey, comrade Kinudia is uh, here. I think he's seated there at the corner. He's the one leading the Kasarani Brigade now. And every day I sleep and say that any day that the Communist Party will get some little resources, this country will never be the same again. We've been able to do this much with nothing. But any day we'll get this. So those people want to declare people's president, we will declare it in, in Hapako Street. So I don't know if I've forgotten anyone. Uh, ah, George, I forget him because he's always behind the camera. Ah, that's Comrade George. He's from Homer Bay. He's a... He's a very powerful guy. Everything you see on our social media, this guy is the one who spins it. So he edits the video, spins it. But he does not just spin it. Now he's even reading. He's committing. In fact, he told me that now, after going through all these documents, he's like he's seeing everything upside down. That the way he used to see them, he now an Iona in upside down. So uh, Ndugu, that is my ABO committee at the Central Committee. And I want to congratulate all of you. The units that have been organizing and reading, I receive reports. In fact, I spend several hours every night reading reports from the party units. I know there are several reports that come from the study circles. Now we have almost, I think, about 154 study circles across the country. I am really looking forward for a day that we are going to be able, in fact, to consolidate them to come to a central point. And I hope that will be the powerful launch of the Communist Party of Kenya. People with clear ideology where they are going. So that will be a proper achievement. Even with Corona, I think we have been able to prosper in terms of organizing online study circles. Now we are mixing online and offline study circles. And I will want to encourage all of you comrades that always feel free to pass by our offices, get some materials, talk to comrades. Also know the difficulties we are facing because sometimes we are there and maybe we don't know what to do. And your ideas are the ones we are waiting to take this process forward. So with those very many remarks, I know there are many senior comrades. I saw Moane somewhere. Uh, I saw many comrades here that I have, I, I had the powerful reflections from uh, Moaevo. 
He's always on study circle online, telling people to come online. But what I want to tell you, Comrade Moebu, you are the revolutionary, not them. So don't give up on them. Please join. Because you are the revolutionary, not them. So you are the one who should be having revolutionary discipline. And um, in fact, if they has come, then it's a new energy that is added to the party. I am about to finish my remarks, Ndugu. I still uh, understand that your health is not very good, but I think now you are doing well. Yes. So uh, I will prefer that after you are here in your study circles, please make sure that we are also driving the online agenda. Because that's how people get introduced to, to this struggle. We have Twitter handle, we have Facebook, we have a YouTube. Just share it. Hata kwa kanisa si unasimama na sema wewe ni na Jesus alikuwa mkomunist and then you say our YouTube channel is this you can learn more. Ukimaliza tu unakaa chini. You've done it because propaganda sometimes you have to push it that way. You don't need to wait. In fact in game I think uh, comrade um, they always call him I think he resembles me sometimes when uh, we meet comrade Victor they always go to churches every time. Wanakuwa na sadaka yao 20 bob ama 30 bob. Wanangoja tu. Wanasema sasa tumetumwa na tunataka kusalimia watu. Na wanamka tu na wanasalimia watu na wanapiga siasa mzuri. In fact they give the in fact they give the life history of Jesus Christ and they say wale even my priest wanauliza pesa hapo mngetandikwa na na Jesus. Eh hey, na wakuja wasema hata Jesus alitandika watu pale. In fact akikuja sasa hivi majua wale wa matapeli watamnyonga tena. So after those many, many, many remarks, I will want to just uh, 